Hey guys, thank you for tuning in today. My name is Kim and today I'm going to be doing a review of the TTDI contact lenses in Queen Grey. These are the ones that I'm wearing here. So it'll be a little bit different of a review today. Instead of doing makeup, I'm going to be doing a contact lens. It's still kind of like a lot of my videos where I'm going to give you my first impressions and review of the product and you'll get to see some photos and you'll get to see a close-up view of the lenses themselves. I will also give you my 10 top tips to take care of contact lenses. So these are some really important things if you've never worn lenses. Hopefully I can give you some tips and tricks that you may not have heard of before about contact lenses and contact lens wear. So I I will give you the full rundown of these TTDI Queen Grey lenses. Just keep on watching. If you end up liking that video, hit that like button down below. It helps me out. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my content. If you want to see this review, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so these are just my natural brown eyes. I'm now going to put in the contact lenses on camera so that you can see the dramatic difference that it makes. So I'll pop them in right now and then I will zoom you in so you can see a close-up look of the lenses. I've already washed my hands and dried them. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this lens on. All right, so I've just applied the lenses. Let me zoom you in so you can see a little bit closer. So these are the lenses here. These are the Queen Grey from TTDI. I purchased these online. I will list the website down below. I will say that they do look quite green. I kind of give off like a greenish look rather than a gray look, but I really like them. They definitely lighten your eyes. They don't have too much of a like black ring around them. So they look a little bit, little bit more natural. Obviously like they're pretty bright, so they don't look completely natural, but I kind of like that you could just like they really pop they're quite comfortable I don't have any contact lens power because I got LASIK done a couple months ago uh, just as a comparison I've worn um, air optics it's probably the nicest North American brand of colored contact that has the most dramatic difference for dark eyes so if you're looking for something from your eye doctor that you can get here I would say the air optics is a great option in gray another lens that I've worn is the Desio I desert gray those ones are great um, I would say the pupil size is a little bit bigger, so you do see more of your natural eye color. I just wanted to talk about the lenses in general, and then I'll give you 10 quick tips to take care of contact lenses. These are the Queen Grey from TTDI, and they were $35 US. I got a small discount because there was like a discount code, but right now they're actually having a 50% off sale, but I will link their website down below so you can see. In the package that I got, I got obviously the lenses in two individually sealed packages. I also got this hand mirror. So this is the lens case they give you. It does have which uh, one is right labeled, so then if you have different prescriptions. Oh, they also give you these tweezers that have like a soft tip to them. So I guess for removal, be very careful about using these. If you need to do this, it's probably means you're probably not suited to wear contact lenses, honestly. And it also comes with a plunger, which you could put the lens on the tip here and then pop it into your eye, but I think if you can do this and touch your eye, you probably could just do it with your, your finger. So I don't think I would recommend using either of those tools. If it's your first time wearing contact lenses, don't just order them online and expect that you'll know how to put them in, take them out, take care of them, stuff like that. So go in, get fitted for like a daily clear contact lens first, or if you don't need it for any power, then get fitted for like a color contact lens from your optometrist. Even if you have no power, you could still go get fitted for one of those. They would teach you everything that you need to know about contacts. Let me go into my top 10 contact lens tips. Number one rule, wash your hands. Wash your hands before you ever touch your eyes. If you remove them or you're putting them in, wash your hands beforehand and make sure they are dry. You do not want water. Water, tap water, is actually a huge cause of some really bad infections. So do not get tap water on your lenses. Don't store your lenses in tap water and do not have any tap water on your hands. Dry your hands with a lint-free towel or a uh, paper towel. Number two, use a name brand solution to store your lenses because these lenses are not daily lenses, obviously. They're, I would use them only for a couple months. It does say a year, but I would only use them like three months max. I definitely recommend using a name brand. Generic solutions are not regulated and so they can really have any ingredient in them. And so I highly recommend using a name brand solution, not a generic. Um, the one I have right now, I actually have a lot. 
I have the Opti Free Replenish um, by Elcon, and it's just a multi purpose dis disinfecting solution for soft lenses and it is for storage. Third, if you've never worn contact lenses or you've always worn daily lenses, then you might not know about peroxide-based cleaners. This is a 3% hydrog hydrogen peroxide solution. Uh, this one is called Peroxy Clear by Bosch & Lohm. If I open it up, I haven't opened this one, it has a red top. When you see a red top in contact solution, it means do not put it in your eye. This will burn. <laughs> So this is to disinfect your lenses. You cannot put this directly into your eye. You cannot directly put your lens in there and take it out immediately and pop it into your eye. Big tip, do not put anything with a red top directly in your eyes. And always read the instructions. I've done it before. I've worn lenses for a long time since I was 10 years old. I've done it, trust me. My fourth tip is use a good case. The one that it comes with is quite small, just in comparison here. And also it's not as deep as the case that I like to use or the size of case that I like to use. Make sure you clean your case. Even though you're wearing these lenses and you're storing them in solution, you need to clean the case. I would recommend cleaning and rinsing it with your uh, saline solution, or you could use soap and water, rinse it off with saline, and then completely dry it with paper towel. And when it is cleaned and dried, put it face down in your bathroom with the two uh, tops off of it. Um, because in the bathroom is where we store most of these cases. And unfortunately there's this thing called the aerosol effect. And because we flush our toilets, stuff gets sprayed up in the air. No, God, please, no, no. So close your toilet seat, number one, but also make sure that your cases are not just open on the countertops because it will be it's not good. These cases do not last forever. It's recommended that you change them um, every month, but if you don't want to do it every single month, you could max out at three months. So one to three months max, then throw this thing away. Do not keep it no matter how much you like it. Another tip that I would give you, um, and actually on their TTD website, it says apply makeup before you put in lenses, but I would recommend you put makeup on after you put on the lenses. If you put your makeup on before and then pop your lenses on, there's a chance you could get debris into your eye and then put your lens on top and it can cause an abrasion or irritate your eye um, because it's underneath the lens and trapped. So I would recommend popping in your lens and then applying makeup. Tip number six, don't apply makeup to your waterline. So I know everyone loves to do that. I really try not to because there are glands called my Bobian glands that uh, run along your waterline on the bottom lashes and you know on the top lashes and they produce the lipid layer of your tears or the top layer of your tears. So this layer prevents evaporation of your tears. And if you don't have that layer, then your tears are gonna evaporate faster and you're gonna get dry eye. No matter if it's safe, it's still gonna block the glands and you're not gonna get the proper top layer of your tears. I would really try not to, especially if you have irritated eyes or you're finding your eyes are red, try not to put any makeup down there. Tip number seven, do not sleep in your lenses ever. The main thing is not to sleep at night in them. It's very important because your eyes just get super dry and it's just really bad for your eyes and you're more prone to getting an infection. You don't want to get pink eye uh, while you're wearing these lenses, so do not sleep in them. That will increase your risk 10 times. So number eight is to use eye drops when you need them. If your eyes are ever dry, scratchy, gritty feeling, maybe it's because you have dry eye. So I would say just drop some eye drops in and make sure they're good to use with contact lenses. Most are though. Number nine, if you are ever wearing color contacts, regular clear contacts, any contacts at all, and your eyes ever red or irritated, take out your lenses immediately. Second, go to an eye doctor immediately because you don't want to risk your vision and some serious stuff can happen in your eyes. So you do not want to risk it. And wearing contact lenses increases that risk an incredible amount. Number 10, my last tip, which ties into number nine a little bit, is go see an eye doctor regularly. It's very important. Your eyes are super important and you want to keep your vision the best that it can. So yeah, that's everything guys. Let me just give you my final thoughts about the lenses. Hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on the lenses. So far, I really, really like them. I think they are a really nice lens. It doesn't look too crazy. They definitely are noticeable, but I really like them. I like how a light they make my eyes. My eyes are super dark brown, so I really do like them. I think it's fun. I don't think you should ever 
like hate the your eye color or anything like that like I don't hate my eye color I like it I just like to change it up sometimes just like my makeup I think it's fun to play with I really do like the lenses they are pretty comfortable for me I don't have any power in them though um, I do like the color as well even though it does say gray just be prepared they are a little bit of a greenish color so uh, just keep that in mind if that's not what you're looking for it does take a little bit long to get the lenses I will say it took me about 20 days basically they're shipping them overseas and then this is to Canada so it probably takes a little bit less time depending on where you live just be careful with your eyes guys and just make sure you take all my tips to heart and do them if you have any questions just ask me down below I've worn contacts for a long time since I was 10 years old so I do know a little thing or two about contact lenses I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was a little bit helpful so if you like this video just hit that like button it's just down below it helps me out a lot if you want to see more of my content just hit that subscribe button down below as well that's pretty much it for me guys have a wonderful day wherever you are and I hope to see you very soon in my next video Thank you.